Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the Zombie Fallen Empire. Welcome back. Uh, we're busy currently changing our our race, our species to get rid of the um, of the um, non-adaptive trait. That's going to be very good. Um, finishes in two months complete. and then we're going to start um, actually colonizing systems which means I have to get rid of these guys um, we have some starvation on these planets for reasons unknown why are you starving oh yeah right because they're missing their orbital hydroponics I guess we'll get to that but orbital hydroponic farms over here who else is starving J Canal and Croc. Okay, so let's go. Let's build orbital hydroponics over here. Let's build orbital hydroponics over here. That should that should solve the problem, I think. <clears throat> Minus three. Yeah, that's not gonna quite solve it on this planet. I'm not sure why. I guess they had a high attack. Physics lab. Engineering facility. Yeah, that was a that was a pure tech planet, it would appear. Let's go down to normal speed for now while I while I do stuff. I got a power hub on this one. People are not starving over here. Building costs are reduced. That's interesting. Um, Special project complete. I wonder if it might not be worth it. I mean, how's the how's the ethics divergence over here? Forty three point nine. The encouraged free thought. It's not great, but the cetramine gas and the frontier commissars, the collective intelligence. All that's all that's helping quite a bit now what I could do is actually I could go for an edict not well spirit of science is actually something that might be worth it on the capital um, no what I could go for is re-education campaigns that will cost me a hundred I wonder if that might not be worth it but for 10% ethics divergence I'm not sure actually I'm not sure. No, I'm going to keep my influence for other stuff. Right, is the special project done? Yes, it is. So, capital sector... Research complete. Now has species said that are still slow breeders, but they don't have the non-adaptive one, which is kind of nice. I would like to get rid of the slow breeders as well, but, I mean, you can't have everything. And these people are rather happy, I guess. Um, right, so it's time. It's time to. It's time to settle space. Let's go. And how many will I be able to get rid of? One, two, three, four. Well, I guess I should go. Should get rid of Rose Seek as well. These guys, they're not really getting anywhere now. I already built everything that I wanted there. Well, we had forty. We have quite a bit of over of overflow in terms of food. So I guess I could get rid of some of the farms. Maybe get rid of that one. Replace it with a um, with a power plant. Yes. That one we're gonna keep. So that's gonna get rid of four. We're gonna go for a for a power plant on this one. We're gonna go for a power plant on that one. Where is it? Power plant. And I think we might also want to go for a power plant on that one. Replace it. Go for a power plant on there. And maybe even on here. Because the... Um, I think that might be enough, actually. Replacing that one, replacing that one, that's already nine that we're getting rid of. With that one, it's ten, so we have seven. Uh, too much. I think we could get rid of one more. So let's get rid of that one. Replace it with a energy credits building. And that's going to be fine then. We're gonna, we can push up these buildings and push up all the energy credit buildings. It does actually make quite a difference if you if you build up your your planets to go for one resource or if you don't and we have the energy hub on this as well it's already producing 60 energy credits so that surplus is only six planets um putting out like that and that's not even that's not even fully built up yet System survey complete. still going for one more estwani all these guys have actually changed to our 
to our ethics. Well, you haven't. You're still a spiritualist and are pissed. And that one is a collectivist, xenophile spiritualist. Which is not great, but oh well. Yeah, the orbital mind control laser is doing its work. That's good. Uh, we're done with flash coolant. Nice! Energy weapon attack speed is good. We're using quite a bit of energy, um, energy weapons and uh, getting them uh, working better is good. Um, shield hit points is actually quite nice. Construction time is also good. Um, they're all future attacks. Applied superconductivity. Let's go for the shield points. Why not? It's going to take a while. Uh, it might actually not help us to have you in charge. Yeah, none of these. I'll tell you what. We're going to... Yeah, it's kind of a waste of time, though. Researching the Archimeter. Let's do it anyways. I wouldn't mind actually having someone with um, an additional expertise. Custom AI assistant is nice, but... Uh, Yeah, all right, you're gonna need the physics research. It's gonna be fine. I guess I should put the genius in charge, though. I think I will. <laughs> I think I will. I'm gonna put the genius in charge here. Yes. And then we're gonna send you out. I mean, the double specialization is pretty good, so I'd like him to get get some more... Um, some more experience. And then we'll go to you. Yeah, you're gonna go for automatic exploration as well, my friend. And uh, yeah, that, there's nothing left but to start building actually colony ships. What about you? Spaceport, that one's built. Let's go for the mind control lasers over here. And I think I can queue them up for the other ones as well. So, mind control laser, we're gonna go for mind control lasers over here and we're also gonna go for mind control lasers over there that's all fine and dandy and in the meantime we'll actually start building colony ships over here oh you don't have the the cost reduction guy yeah it doesn't really matter 10% of 250 no not survey ships no that's not what we want colony ships um, how many we're we gonna take Four, five, I think. So let's go for five colony ships. I want to see how it goes. Uh, now that we have so uh, such a great energy credits income. Oh yeah, these guys. Um, yeah, let's continue. I like the additional happiness. The happiness is something that we don't really have a way of getting as materialists. The um, if you have a look at Rondo, actually, well, wait, where is it? Andak, Rondo, over here. If you have a look at this, these guys have the Monument to Purity and they have the Symbol of Unity, which is really nice for them. I don't have either of these buildings. I mean, I do have the Ministry of Benevolence, that's kind of nice, but happiness buildings for materialists and collectivists are actually far and few between. It's not, not too great. Um, have a look at this. Let's go for another. Come on. Right, it's it's really lagging now. I wonder what's what's causing it to lag that hard. Odd. Even on normal speeds, I've never had a an input lag like that. I mean, we're playing very long right now. Two thousand three hundred eighty-six. Game has gone on for quite a while. But still, that's no reason. I think we'll settle this sector first because we have three frontier outposts in here that are completely unnecessary. Uh, I think we're going to settle the Pollock system. Uh, we're going to set, settle the Botine system and the Afrasan system and the Erolia system maybe as well. And just work our way from there to um, the other side. Um, we do have... Oh yeah, well, I think I'm going to go for the Waltham system as well. Get rid of that frontier outpost over there. That's going to be fine. Um, construction ship is still busy in Gallimon. We do have a bunch of stuff that we want to construct in this area. I'm going to give that to a sector very soon. So that's something to keep in mind. 
Tendril spreaders are still growing. How many do we have? 68 battleships. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're done. Just as I was talking about it. So let's go build all the mining stations, build all the research stations, build all the mining stations, build mining stations. And that seems to be it, I guess. At least in that area. Anything else? I thought we were still missing some things. No, that's all repaired. That's all repaired. No, things look fine. Actually, things look fine. Mm, let's have a look over here. These are still under control of these pesky neighbors. That's fine though. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Alright, I'm content with that. Someone level up. A scientist. That's alright. Hmm. We're nearing the um, the 5000 energy credits. And in fact, we've reached them now. So, I guess I can start changing two worlds. What's Alpine, Continental, Alpine... I just have to look out for the yellow ones. There's a tomb world in here with a 21 size tomb world, actually. Let's go and terraform that into uh, an alpine world. <laughs> it's pretty crazy that you can terraform uh, tomb worlds, but I guess at some point you do have the tech for it. It also takes a very long time, so the sooner we get that kind of stuff started, the better. That's for certain. There's our construction ship still moving around. Do these guys actually have the jump drive? No, they have the warp drive. Yeah, well, actually, that's not gonna fly. Come on, you're gonna refit in Nimbus, and then we're gonna issue these commands again. It takes it takes you a really long time to get around. That's just not good. Construction complete. Okay, these spaceports now have their orbital mind control lasers. Complete. One thing that I can still put on there. What's that gonna be? Observatory, synchronized defenses, crew quarters. I think the observatory is gonna be it. Observatory. Let's go for the observatory. Oh, you're missing the hydroponics. How's the surface looking? I think you have enough food on there. Yeah, just about, so... There's no need for orbital hydroponics on you, so... Observatory, that's fine. And Krak, you're gonna get the observatory as well. Got some peace. Capovert Remnant have made peace with the United Boki States up here. I don't think they've actually expanded. I don't think that's a problem. I gotta queue up more of the metal ships on the mineral sector. Ships upgraded. Queue up one over here. Okay, so now our construction ship has been upgraded. Um, so we're gonna send it into the Rondo system, build all the mining stations, build all the research stations, build the mining station here, system survey complete. build the mining stations in there, and uh, we're gonna call that good enough. Okay. I wanna at least get to um, 100k fleet strength again. That would be very good. Yeah, we don't have a lot of carriers anymore, but they seem to survive an amazing amount of battle. I mean, they're just battleships, so I guess they're survivable no matter what. Pollux 2 has been terraformed. Where's that? Oh, that's at right at the edge. Nice. So, how are my, how are my colony ships coming along? They're fine. What I would like to see is Roy Seek, but I think that's gonna, that's gonna go on for a very long time. I might not be able to actually move that into uh, keep that on me before I move it into a sector I could just move it into a sector right Construction now complete. Construction complete. Now my sectors are forbidden from changing buildings and stuff and I think they won't just cancel all the upgrades and everything has been built on the ground so they can't really fuck this planet up so I think I'll just give that to this sector then Construction complete. Actually, I didn't really give these guys any sort of focus. That's a bit shitty. These guys are mineral heavy, mineral centric. What's a Caldex planet do? Doing, yeah. 
no, uh, energy credits uh, heavy. Yeah, we're gonna make this sector, uh, the Vitella sector, into an energy sector. Um, where are you? Vitella sector. Oh, you you have a balanced focus. You definitely want to pull out more out of you than uh, as much out of you as we can, because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Um, sector settings, financial focus. That's what we want. Space construction, respect tile resources. No, you're not allowed to redevelop buildings. That's not something that I want. No, not for you either. Galamon Prime, you're already forbidden from doing that. Why did my settings not stick? I don't want these guys to um, redevelop on their own. No. Rimboth, no. So you no. Bad sectors. You're not allowed to do that. I built you up. And you gotta keep it like that. Right, so Vitala sector, you're gonna get the um Oh, where where is that planet actually? Where's Roeseek? Close that one. You're, yeah, you're in the Keyhines system. I wonder if I'll be able to give that to that sector without screwing stuff up because it looks like I might have to give away manship as well. Well, we'll deal with it once we get to it. So... Again, Vitalis sector. Planets and sectors. Vitalis sector. Manage them. Mm, Romsia system. Yeah, I guess I can reach via this without screwing things up too much. Although there is a second alpine world in there that I would like to develop. There's one in here as well, and there's one in here. Yeah, we'll, we'll live with it. We'll live with it for now. So, close it. I got one more core system. Um, right, and these ones, I do want to get rid of them as well Construction not do, not doing anything on the surface and yeah, we can upgrade that building but that's about it and I'm not going to redevelop them in any form or fashion so I might just give them away uh, to the Imari sector maybe Soyun sector might also be a good choice maybe let's just have a look um, planets and sectors now close that one let's have a look at the size of our sectors here um, you have 70 and 59 pops. Rochelle Prime, Imari Sector has 76 and 76 pops. Soyun Sector, I guess they're all of um, a nice size, I guess. Hmm. 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 I don't just want to give them to the Imari sector for the reason that uh, that's going to increase their, their wish for independence if they think that they can break away because they are in one sector on their on their own. So that's something. Mm. Nambus Prime has a crap ton of energy credits. Which is a shame. I really want to be able to pull these out. I can't though. All right then. Let's. Uh, oh, you're gonna. You're going for research. Where's Krak in the Sata system? Well, we're gonna try to give them to this sector. I mean, you can always give these these systems to someone else. But let's give you the Junda system. Let's give you that one. That one. There's nothing in this system. Give you that one. Come on. Oh man, I really have some lag now, so I guess I gotta pause to do that stuff. Give you Endec, and we're gonna give you the Sata system. So that's something. I'm rid of these. But I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna give these system, uh, the the Ardoc system. I'm gonna give these to the to the Imari system, uh, to the Imari sector. So close that one. Sectors. Where is it? So the Soyan sector has become pretty important. 87 in terms of size and pops. 
No, the Imori sector, we're gonna manage you. I mean, that's a pretty rich system. But it's mainly science, which I get all of. Um, so, have that one. Right. Oh, yeah, we still have Rondor. We still have Rondor. I'm gonna give that to you as well, I think. That's gonna be fine. Close it. The Imari sector might now be my, my biggest and strongest sector. Yeah, 109 and 108 pops. But at least it's not it's not even bigger by strengthening the sojourn sector. And by moving it up here on the side, I will actually be able to maybe give it some of the systems that the Imari still have. How many planets do you have? Six. And how many do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I see all of them and I should be able to take them over at some point. I'm looking forward to it. Will I be able to... No. Our peace treaty is going to end in 92. And I definitely will attack once that treaty is done. They still have the Synthetic Galactic Concord Brawl. With the Srecons. They're fighting the Synthetic Combined Colonies. Where are these guys? Where are the Synthetic Combined Colonies? We do have the Synthetic Confederation. We have the Sondrathans. There are the Synthetic Combined com uh, Colonies. These guys have been really bitten in the ass by the fact that they have been using synths for so long. That's very interesting. And an unidentified empire has a mining station in that system. Really? What's in here? Oh, right. I wonder if I shouldn't just invade these guys. What's, what's their status? Because I have to send a science ship in there at some point. Because we haven't really had a look at that one. Yeah, it's, I guess it's unsurveyed. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I guess these are just real primitives. Um, no, that can't be. Why would they have a satellite in orbit then if they are primitives? Investigate. Well, that doesn't help me. Right, yeah, I guess I have to send the army in here. I don't want to lose that planet. I could actually increase my range, bring that Arctic world into my range, and maybe that Savannah world. And we're gonna we're gonna um, actually integrate that vessel at some point, anyways. It might not be a bad idea, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end it at this point. Um, we've built two colony ships already, so next time we can definitely go out um, colonize Pollux. How long is that one gonna take? How far are you? Still 3,000 days, that's quite a while. How are other, uh, other projects? 82 more months until we get the Titan lasers. Three months until we can go for the leader enhancement, selected lineages, which increases the leader lifespan and the leader skill levels. That's pretty nice. Um, we're gonna have the shield hit points um, increase in 27 months. So far things are looking good. We still have planetary buildings that are not being used on band 3 prime. Still a long list of stuff that I want to build there. Um, actually I'm gonna queue up some more upgrades there. Why not? It's already a long list that has now gone up to number 12. That's fine. Um, but yeah, we're basically down to two core systems, so I can send my five ships out and the five ships that are queued up over here. Colonize planets, finally get rid of all these frontier outposts, regain a bit of influence. And uh, yeah, make my, make my empire stronger. Because colonization in this game, it's nearly always good. In distant worlds, you can really... Um, Bring yourself in a tricky situation if you colonize too fast because your private sector that you have no control over is going to try and sort of spread all the goods all the resources that you have in your empire evenly over your colonies so if you start colonizing like crazy your private sector won't be able to um to keep that one up and eventually your empire is just going to collapse because people are super unhappy your resources won't get neither here nor there you won't be able to build ships and all that, but here in this game, it's um, sort of a little bit easier to manage colonization. There's really nothing stopping me from system survey complete from getting there. Um, how's our power combined to these guys? Equivalent now in every way. That's good. That's good. 
I like it. How are we in comparison to the Chim Council? They're still... The naval uh, capacity is not equivalent. Tech and fleet is still superior. Research I don't like that. Selected lineages has been done. That's nice. Let's hope that we get something new and interesting. I guess so. Leader enhancement. Capacity boosters. We leave nothing to chance, no matter the cost. Through exacting curation of DNA banks, do we build the leaders of tomorrow. Plus 50 years, plus two skill levels. That's amazing. I would like that one as well, but... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go for the leader enhancement here. That's nice. That's really nice. Definitely pays to have someone with a certain special specialization in a in a field. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, I hope you join me next time when we will start colonizing this area. Um, hopefully we'll get the titans at some point. It's only 79 months. And then we're going to build some titans. And I think we're going to try to take that empire out. And also in five more years we'll be able to attack the Imari and the Srakons again. Which I will definitely do. Um, just doesn't make sense to let them recover their strength. They're still pathetic. I guess they are. They're really reeling. And the Srakons are also still pathetic. <laughs> so it's going to be a rather easy war. I hope. Um, so, hope you join me for that. Thanks. Bye-bye.